witness says the shooter goes by the name K600. Fled to a building. I'll have the address shortly. Repeat that name. 734. K600. What up, gang? I'm back with another one. If you already read that title, you already know what's up, man. Your boy Tay Six Hundred say he gonna sue me. He say he gonna sue me, y'all. Listen, I'm gonna tell you how clout chasing is real until you get what you're looking for. Okay, everybody know E Day Pass, right? So later on that day when E Day Pass, uh, the police scanner recordings was going around, right? About how many times E Day was shot and all this, right? So when the police scanner of E Day crime started floating around on the internet, Tay 600 posted a police scanner about when an incident, an old incident, when he was uh, a witness said that he was the uh, shooter. You know what I'm saying? A witness went on the uh, witness told the police that uh, Tay 600 was the shooter. So, mind you, Tay 600 and E Day was beefing. So, what Tay 600 did, Tay 600 posted that old police recording to make it seem like he had something to do with E Day, right? And all he put on the, when he posted it and on his story, what he wrote was, Shaking my head, this what this coming to. Now, why would you put that on your store knowing E Day information is going around and people are already saying that when people uh bloggers address it, they say E Day, who was beefing with Tay 600, you know what I'm saying? A lot of bloggers had that as, as they uh title. So why would you put that on your story of the police saying witnesses say the shooter was the suspect is T600, right? And put shaking my head, this what this coming to, and a sad face. Now, why would you put this on your story around the time the same day E Day passed and around the time when the police scanner of his incident was going around? You know why you did that? To make that seem like you had something to do with it. Now, guess what? You getting backlash for it. You getting bashed for it. You getting threats for it. Now, you want to say, oh, this old. But you didn't say that on your story. When you posted it on your story, you made it seem like a witness was trying to say that you was the one that shot e -Day. Now, the pressure on, you want to say that that recording was old and they have nothing to do with E Day. Well, if that rec recording was old and they have nothing to do with E Day, then why post it on your story like it was new and saying, shaking my head, this what it's coming to? Like, this what it's coming to? Somebody snitching on me. You did that for attention. You did that because you knew your name would start ringing and you knew it would make it seem like you had something to do with E-Day shooting. But it done got personal. Like I said, you getting backlash for it. You getting threats. Now you want to stop something you started. How you going to say you going to sue somebody and you going to sue bloggers? For posting information that you posted first. <laughs> it's crazy. But like I said. This one clout chasing goes wrong. 
Y'all already know it. It's a lot of flaw ops, man. When when a person get killed, they pretend like they had something to do with it. And Tate says, honey, this is the exact situation. You tried to pretend you wanted your name to ring. Your name started ringing. Now you backing out. You can't sue nobody for something that you posted first. And the bloggers and the public just reposted it. So you got to deal with that. Like, comment, subscribe. Gang.